totally inseparable. This was our first everything hours, dorks. Mom looks so fierce in the uniform. Is, is that your sister? It's me, actually. You are a girl? <laughs> I'm transgender. <laughs> High Guardian Spice is such a refreshing original story. Though I will have to say, it's not a perfect anime, and there are things I do not like about it. Let's talk about the good things first. The fact that this was Crunchyroll's first original anime that got delayed for two years, and it was created by a strong, independent trans woman, with a team of strong, independent women, with woman of color, and strong, LGBTQ, FTP, 9 plus 12, divided by. Definitely the fact that this anime was made mostly by Americans and not Japanese people is good because there is more room for the animators to draw characters of realistic proportions, not just big booby anime girls with feministic properties. And the writers can add more progressive ideas is an absolute plus. All of the main characters are strong and female, and all the cis white men are in the kitchen, the way it should be. I know. Some people are saying that Rosemary's mom is basically a man with no balls because she doesn't act like a woman and that it's a bad thing. But it's really inspiring to have an original female character that doesn't act like a woman at all. The dialogue in this show is so amazing and thought provoking. Rose Barb's strength today showed me that I have a lot to learn about myself and how girls look cute when they climb walls and stuff. Wow, son, we need to have a word. No wonder they delayed this anime for two whole years. And I don't get where people are coming from when they say the story is stupid. That the Guardian School makes no sense and has no discipline at all. The students get to choose their own vows even though they're just going to be told that they're wrong. And that there's really no point to being a Guardian other than just being one. That you can just wake up in the morning and eat all the desserts you want. And the humor is what a Steven Universe fan would consider god-tier comedy while they sit in the corner of their safe space incubator at their local community college. But I disagree. And everyone who thinks that way about this show needs to check their privilege. This anime goes all out in sticking it to the patriarchy, showing that we don't need straight white men with their toxic masculinity. Instead, we need magical lesbians. Now, onto the things I did not like about this show. In episode one, the two main characters run around a market. I hate this because it implies that there is capitalism in this world. Even though it would have been perfect to show a gay communist utopia with no money and no markets, no middle and no lower class. A big missed opportunity if you ask me. Because we all know that communism and gays have always worked well. Next is the two characters I hated the most. Olive and the Catman. Olive, for not acting more independent and strong and listening to a man's voice, how dare she act like a woman? And the Catman, because his comedy is not anti-patriarchy and to normal people might even be interpreted as funny. The story lost all its focus when it had a main character fall for a man. Even though he's a femboy slash crossdresser, that is still a straight relationship and it takes away from the overall plot. Also, I'm gonna have to take points away for no lesbian sex scenes. I'm not even being sarcastic about this, like for a show that has this much gay shit in it, did not have any of the gay stuff I was looking forward to. Just saying. With all that being said, this is an amazing show that you should force all your family and friends to watch. High Guardian Spice gets a 2 out of 10. Not enough trans rights. Hello to the two people who are watching this video right now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe while you're at it.
And don't forget to share this with your dog, your dad, your sister, your mom. Heck, while you're at it, you might as well just leave your sister and your mom's phone number down in the comments. Don't forget to click that notification bell to get notified when I upload more content in the future. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for supporting your local small YouTuber, and I hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you guys later.